Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today I wanted to share with you guys a declutter the fridge, clean the fridge video with me along with a grocery haul from Aldi and Walmart. So let's get on into it. So whenever I do a grocery order, I always make sure to clean out my fridge before I get the new groceries. Um, because I want to clear out the space, declutter it, see what I have, what I don't have, what I need, make sure anything that's old is taken out, and it just helps me visualize everything a lot better when my space is clean and decluttered and everything is fresh and looks neat. Um, and it helps a lot with meal planning as well, um, to plan meals for a family. You know, it's not always the easiest so just to see everything in front of me and clean and organized helps me figure out what meals I can make out of what I have already and then what I need to buy to complete the meals if that makes any sense so here's a question actually for you guys do you put your apples in the fridge I love cold apples I hate when they're like room temperature so I always put my apples in the fridge and everyone always thinks I'm so weird for that. There is only one of you, only one of me. There's a million of those who won't let us be. But they're not gonna, not gonna see me bleed. Cause baby, I got you, 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 you. I've been beaten to the ground, dragged across the dirt. I've been scared to live cause some people never learn. But they're not gonna, not gonna watch me burn Cause baby, I got you, 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 you It's a new beginning and a better life It's a dancing underneath the disco lights They can try but they can never take me down ooh, ooh, ooh. Cause I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid Doesn't everything look so much better now that it's clean and organized? Everything has a place, there's no clutter, and everything in there is fresh. Alright you guys, so this is everything that I got from Aldi. So first, we have some freeze-dried strawberries. I've never tried these before, but they looked pretty good, and I think Brandon will like them. Um, and they'll be like a healthy snack, so I picked those up. Um, moving on, we have some peanut butter chocolate chip chewy granola bars. Next up, I have some brown sugar. I got this for banana bread and other recipes. Some peanut butter fudge cookies, striped fudge cookies, and caramel coconut fudge cookies. And then he also got a 100 calorie snack pack box um or a box of the 100 calorie snack packs um mason wanted some of the fudge stripe cookies i've never had these 100 calorie like pouches so i'm eager to try them and see if they taste any good i got some barbecue chips um 
some cinnamon toast crunch, and some fruit snacks. They are an absolute staple in our house. Some apple, strawberry applesauce, another staple. Um, some soy sauce and teriyaki sauce for recipes. Some white egg noodles and some chocolate pudding. I have been craving this, so I decided to treat myself to it. Um, trying to be a little healthier, but it was my guilty pleasure this week. I got some mozzarella cheese for a recipe, and then I also got two things of string cheese, which all of us love in this house. They do love you, you, you. And now it's the fun part of putting everything away. I don't really have like a method or anything to how I put everything away or where I have anything go. Um, fruits have their drawer, vegetables have another drawer, and then drinks usually go on like one shelf and then eggs go on the top. Um, as far as like the cheese and stuff, that kind of all goes in this drawer. Um, we'll put co-cuts there, uh, pepperoni, like different deli meats. Um, yogurts, which we'll see later on, like they'll go down there, juice boxes, things like that. Alright you guys, so now I'm putting all the pantry stuff away, which it's kind of like a hot mess. Um, all my baking items go in like one section, pasta and another, cereal and another, things like that. Um, but it's kind of just like a quick grab and go in terms of like if you want snacks like go and grab it and it gets messy and unorganized and cluttered really quickly and easily so I'm just gonna quickly straighten that up and try to make everything seem a little more organized and along with um putting all the rest of the groceries the way that have to go away Alright you guys, so now it is time for the Walmart part of this grocery haul. Normally I only do my shopping at Walmart, but Aldi had better deals this week um, on a couple of things, so that's why I did the two trips and they're right next to each other, so it wasn't like a huge inconvenience. So starting with produce, I have two cucumbers, some grape tomatoes, um, some sweet potatoes for a recipe some lemons for a recipe along with lemon water. I love lemon water, it's like my go-to. Um, and I make sure I get all my water in with that. Some apples, macaroni and cheese, uh, pastas, we have penne, uh, some bow tie, and then rigatoni. We have some watermelon and two pineapples because we all love pineapple in the house. Oops. Um, some Spanish rice for a recipe, avocados for avocado toast, four things of strawberries because I ordered two of the two pound strawberries, um, or two of the two pound strawberries, and they didn't have them, so they gave me four of the one pound strawberries. So quite a bit of strawberries. We have a couple of salad kits. One is a Mediterranean crunch, and the other is a Caesar. I find myself um, grabbing for these more than like having to sit and come up with ingredients to put into a salad. So it's just a quick, easy side to dinner or lunch. Um, and then we also have some bagged spinach. 
so that's good for omelets and salads everything pepperoni mason will eat this for his lunch or a snack like we have it on pizza we have two things of chicken and then lots of pasta sauce um roasted garlic parmesan that was a substitute um roasted garlic and herbs some alfredo sauce for chicken um alfredo some pesto for pesto chicken some hot salsa which oh gosh this is so good you guys i always always have to have some salsa on hand um sweet baby ray's barbecue it can't be any other brand we have some popcorn some oreos and some sliced or shredded cheese some gogurt and then some regular yogurt on the side for smoothies um, we'll see how I like that because I'm not a huge yogurt fan. Um, some eggs. We love eggs. Some bread. And then the beer. And then I also got a Slurpee from 7-Eleven, which I haven't had one of these in years because we just haven't lived by one. But I got one tonight and it was so good and well worth it. I also had some drama with my walmart grocery haul they forgot several of the items so i'm just showing you guys i got some mozzarella sticks um some vegetable egg rolls let's see it's all my frozen veggies so broccoli broccoli and cauliflower and then a pepper and onion medley along with some ice cream were all forgotten so i had to go back to the store they couldn't help me and then i had to go back the next day and get the items so it was quite the struggle um i also got two gallons of milk but brandon had put that away already and some moscato this is not from walmart but i wanted to show it because i did pick it up also some orange juice and some apple juice and now it's time to put everything away Watch the sun go down over the same old town Like so many times before we Look at the same old stars Battle the same old wars Like so many times before And I know that we're not perfect So that was my grocery haul. This is how everything turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching and be on the lookout for the next video. Bye.